Hey everybody, it's Connie. Um, I'm going to get back to this little book that I was putting together. It's the one that um, I made a previous video and I will leave the link to that below. And uh, these are the little magnet pullouts that has the mat on both sides. So I think what I want to do is the cover with y'all and the spine cover. And uh, then maybe I'll do another one on adding some embellishments to the pages. How's about, how about that? Here's the paper, if you remember. It's the uh, Vintage Emporium. It's the A4 Collections by Prima. And I got this on Amazon. It's, it's a really pretty paper. Okay, I've already got everything cut out and inked around the edges and everything so that this wouldn't take... Um, uh, too awful long, but sometimes I can get a little long-winded and can't make up my mind. But I just pulled out a few things um, to uh, put on the front. I hope it comes together. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing, but we have a few things out, so let's see what happens. I put this here because I love the flowers around this right here. I think it is so pretty. That looks good. I like it. And by the way, this book is um, it's about five and a half by five and a half. And the spine is one inch, I do believe. So it's it's a cute little book. So on the back, I'm going to put this on there like this. I thought I'd try to get this done this evening because my grandkids are coming over, two of them, tomorrow to visit. And they, uh, my grandson is eight and my granddaughter is 11. And... So we will be busy doing something, I'm sure, but there we go. I think I cut it a little big, but that's okay. It'll be alright. I don't usually like it to go straight on the edge like that, but it is what it is. It'll be okay. If you can see how close it is. It's like right on the edge, but not so much on the bottom. It'll be alright. It'll still be pretty. I like the little bit about like an eighth of an inch around the edges like that. I like that. So let's see if we can't put this on without me making a mistake. If it's not perfect, it's okay. It's a craft project. So anyway, this is um, from Hobby Lobby. And um, I just love it. It's the texture and everything. They sell it singly. So um, they have browns and uh, blacks and some gold with a little black in it. It's real pretty. So that's where I got this. So I'm going to take the center off first. And then uh, kind of go from there. Because I'm not too sure... How much I want in the middle first let me do let me do a gin trick Jennifer from um, Genevieve designs this kind of helps putting this little bit of a glue on the on the tape so that you have a little time to move it around just in case it's not just right so we'll put it about right there. Let's see. That's going to have to work. It's not exactly where I want it, but that'll be okay. So now I'm going to get my little piercing tool and peel off the back into my that double sided tape here. Let's see if I can't get this to stick down and look good. 
me get the rest of it off. This stuff is some good stuff. So, there we go. I just pulled out some things. I hope this turns out the way I like it to turn out. You know, pretty and all that good stuff, but there. I love that. So, let's get this off. And then here we go. Wow. There we go. I've been watching some Hallmark movies. I just love Hallmark movies. Can't wait for our Christmas Hallmark movies. I know it's kind of early to be talking about that. It's not even Thanksgiving, but I can't help it. I love the holidays and Thanksgiving and all those uh, holiday movies and stuff. It just makes me feel so good. Okay, so there's the spine. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. Let me pull out some lace because I think I'm going to want some lace on here. Let me see. What do I want? I don't know if I want something wide or something. I'm not sure. Let me see. There's this wide. Of course, it's not long enough, but that's pretty wide. Or something like this. Hmm. I'm not too sure what I want. Uh, I hate it when I don't have a plan. Let me think. I think I want the wide. That way, um, I can put some little embellishments on it and stuff like that and it'll still look good there we go made a decision y'all are gonna just hate the way I measure things oh my gosh it's not too good but I did it made the cut Okay, that'll be fine just like that. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some double-sided tape on it. I'm going to take that ribbon out. I'm going to put some double-sided tape on it just until um, I can get a little hot glue because I didn't warm that up. So. What I'll do is I'll put a little strip here and here, and then tomorrow I'll put just a little dab on the ends. So that's what I'll do. Let's see. Let me think. Let me get the thinner. I think this is like super, super thin. Get that going. So move this out of the way. I'll put it on this little bit right here. It should work until I can... Put just a little dab of hot glue on the ends of it so I think I'll be okay with that just so I can get things going and jamming it and get it finished so I think I hear my husband just drove up okay let's see there we go all right it's just getting this backing off of let um backing off of material you know this sort of thing whenever you there we go I say there we go a lot if you've watched any of my other videos you're gonna go oh god if she would just quit saying there you go <laughs> it's a habit I guess I don't know alrighty where do I want it? I think I'm going to put it about right, right there. There we go. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. I got this out. These are from um, Walmart. 
and they're in the cake section. And I coffee stained them and put them in the oven for a little while. And I don't know if I want the whole thing on there or not. This is almost kind of like I did my big album um, with uh, Genevieve, the Everlasting. And um, I did pretty much, I'd put a big doily, because it was an 8x8 eight eight book, it was really big. But this seems like a really big piece of paper. Let's see if I'm going to use some of the flowers I made out of the collection here. No, I don't have a plan. I do not have a plan, but it is okay. Plans, plans. There we go. I think I'm going to do that. Let me get this skewers me. Get this. Ink it up. This is on some of that, um, I don't know what kind of paper it is. But I had stamped a bunch of these out and I thought, well, I'm going to use them. Might as well just place them here and there. Okay, let's see. It's not going to show up on that. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to fold this in half and use it like that. There we go. I kind of like this. I think I'm going to do that. Put it up here, and then this can go over here, and we'll just start laying things out. Alright, I'm going to make a, an executive decision here. I hope it's a good one. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope it comes together. Let's see. Put a little bit here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I told you I'd say that again. Okay. I know my husband's going to have football on. College football. I had the TV on in there. On the, um, I think I might put it like that right there. Okie dokie. Let's see. Do I want to put some tape on it? Or will I? I'm just going to go ahead and glue it. That's that first step, making that decision. Here we go. I think I'm going to put it up here like that. And then tomorrow, um, I may put a little bit of hot glue here, just to make sure it's on there good. Okay. Um, I made these flowers, and I'm going, I don't know if I just want one big one, and then some little ones here and there. Let's see, where's the, here's one. I love that one. I'm going to put some pearls, I think, on the inside of them. I may stick that uh, over here like that. Then I made this butterfly. I'll put that flying off like that. How's that so far? What you think? And then I can put this under here like this and maybe this little missions ticket I think it's coming together let's do it I'm gonna go ahead and put this flower down this is um, paper out of the collection and um, it, I made it just like the flowers that I made um, on that last book and I will link that down below on how I did the flowers just because it's pretty awesome. And I did the butterfly the same way and it turned out really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to put some pearls, I think, on here. On these little flowers. I'm going to put this down first. This. I'm not going to glue it like all over. That way, if some of the pieces want to come up and be wrinkled, and that will be okay too. There we go. If I could learn another word other than "there we go," you'd be doing really good. Okay. Whoops! I knocked my pen off. There. I'm liking it. 
I'm liking it. I like it a lot. I had pulled out, let me put this little ticket on there. What do you think? Something like that? Yes? Alright. I'm just going to put a little glue down the middle. But, um, not like that. I don't have a plan. I don't want to cover too much of this up because it has all those pretty little roses, but so far, here we go. Okay. Here's a little heart. I can put, let's see, I might put that right there. What does that think? Yep. I'm going to do it. It's time to make a commitment. <laughs> Commit to it. Just throw it on there and commit to it. Hold that down. Ooh, what about a, like a little key next to the heart? Like, key to my heart? <laughs> yes, we're going to do it. This um, glue is fantastic. I love it. Let's see, where do I want to put it? I'm going to put it right there. I like it. I like it. Here's some um, little... They're like little hard flowers uh, made out of plastic, I suppose. I don't know if I want to put that on there or not. Is that too pink? I don't like that silver on there, I don't think. Hmm. I don't know. Let me um, wait on that for a minute. And I have um, all of these leaves that I cut, cut out. And let me tell you, if, like it's kind of drab looking, okay? But you cut out these leaves and you start adding them, they're great little fillers. I'm not kidding. So, um, I think I'm going to do the pearls instead of bling bling. So, I'm going to put a really big one in that big flower. Let's see. Put that right there. What do you think? I like it. Okay. And then I'm going to put the little ones. Let's see. Yep, I hear the football game. He doesn't change the channel. And if you hear him holler, like, woohoo, well, he won't say woohoo. <laughs> He'll be like, yeah, that kind of thing. I like it. Yes, with the pearls. Kind of gives it a little vintage look. Okay, let me see. What else? I think I want to add um, uh, a little strip of tiny pearls on the butterfly. About four will do. One, two, three, four. And put that right there on the butterfly. I like it. Yes, that will work. Okay, it's coming together. I like it a lot. Um, what are you thinking? You like it? I love that little ticket. Okay, I have another key I can stick over here. No, I don't think I will. I think I'm going to just start adding some leaves. That way, kind of get an idea um, what's going on. Cut off some of that part of it. You just start sticking them in there, and it's a great, like I said, it's a great filler when you're not sure. When you, you know, it looks kind of bare. You just start adding these leaves, 
and it's wonderful. I love it. I don't ever know have a plan on where I'm going to put them, but it's pretty cool. I think this is how I made my flower. My um, this is the um, Bilderberg punch from Stampin' Up, and I just um, made a strip of green paper, just a small strip, and cut out this right there. But it makes it pretty pretty easy. You know, it makes it go by pretty fast. So, cut the tip of that off. I'm going to put it over here. I like it. I like adding these little things because it starts coming together and starts filling out and looking good. Okay, um, do I want one up here? I do. Yes, yes. So, if you find yourself thinking, what else can I put on there? Let it be the leaves and it'll just really just start looking good and filling out. I put one under here right there. Yes. I hope you're enjoying this. Just to kind of give you some ideas of what you can do because it's the endless possibilities. Just do what you what feels good to you. You just, you know, usually I don't have a plan. I, you know, I have some sense of an idea of what I might want to do, but, you know, not really sure on um, this, you know, for sure, for sure what I want to do, but I have an idea what I would like it to look like, but <laughs> it don't always look like what we like or what we think it's going to look like. About right there on part of the heart. And you can turn these leaves um, this way or this way and it gives it a different uh, direction. So that's pretty cool. There we go. I like it. I think we need one back there. Let me cut part of the stem off. Let's see. Like that? Yes, yes. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Let's stick it underneath there like that. Alright. What do you think? It's just small, little, simple. The little heart and the ticket. Three flowers and a butterfly. I like it. I'm going to have to tack this down because it's folded and I don't like that. I know what I'll do. Let me get a glue dot. And I will stick it underneath there and it will keep it from coming unfolded. Going back to being folded. I kind of like that rugged look. It's kind of cool. Kind of vintagey looking. I like it. There we go. I think I'm going to stop right there. What do you think? I think I will. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the paper that I chose for the inside. And all the distressing that I did, I used um, the Tim Holtz uh, Vintage Foldo Ranger. And um, I did all that so that it wouldn't be such a long video. So let me make sure this is going to go right here. I already cut them and everything. I want to make sure I got the right one for the right page. Just in case they're off just a little. You know, you never know. So, let's see. I think I want this one over here. So, the back is pretty too. But, I wanted to soften it up because um, it looks a little... Um, I, it just needs something because it's not very soft looking. You know, it's kind of bold and 
I'm not too sure about that. I really would like something because these this color is so bold and I got to thinking after I did it I was like oh no I'm gonna have to do something different with it I'm not too sure but I have an idea what I want to do but I think I'm gonna put some stamping right here to kind of some little swirls to kind of soften it because it's just seems so bold I don't know I have to do something different Okay, let's see, that will fit, Thank, thankfully, I don't want to have to cut another piece, I try to use, utilize all my paper so that nothing goes to waste when I cut it, so, there we go, yes, there we go, <laughs> This um, glue may give you just a little bit of wiggle room, but not a lot. That art glitter glue dries pretty fast. So, okay, so there's the back. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And then there's the front. I think it's looking good. And there's the inside covers. Now, I think I'll come back and finish doing some of the inside things on the next one what do you think i hope you enjoyed it so um i made some little tiny flowers some some more i don't know that it's going to be enough there's some with one petals instead of two and let's see i made some little butterflies that maybe I can do something with on the inside. Pretty. And I'll put some pearls and stuff. But these butterflies turned out really cool. Um, when I punched, uh, first I stamped them out. And then I, um, I wetted them with, wetted them <laughs> with some water. And then I used this um, pearls, uh, Perfect Pearls Mist on them and then I kind of scrunched them up and then I hit them with the be sure and use tweezers when you do it though because it's really hot I kind of held it with the tweezers and then I hit it with the heating tool to dry it and it turned out they turned out really pretty I wish you could see the glitter in it it's just really nice so um, I think those will go in here somewhere I hadn't figured it out yet on the inside but I wanted to do the outside with y'all and we'll work on the inside on the next visit how about that well I hope you enjoyed it isn't that pretty I just love that look mm. like it I like it I like it all right well thanks for stopping by and we will get busy on the inside on the next one and thanks for um, if you don't mind, I'm saying thanks in advance to click down below and give me a thumbs up and uh, get, leave some comments so I know what you think. And if you decide to do something like this, post me some pictures. I would love to see it. And you can also stop by Craft with Connie on Facebook and check out some things there. I've been trying to do a little, a few more pictures and uploads and stuff like that. I'm fixing to get busy on some Christmas cards. And so I'd like to um, maybe do some Christmas cards with y'all too because I had someone call me up and asked if they um, could get some cards done up. So I thought, well, maybe I can do some with y'all and we'll see what we can come up with together. So anyway, I hope you like it. So kind, It's so cute. I hope you have a, a good day, good weekend, and everything else. Be blessed. Thanks. Bye. I'm going to sh shake the camera. <laughs> Bye.